Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this week's edition of Final Cut Help. Today, we're going to talk about some basic troubleshooting, which is what to do when Final Cut starts acting flaky. Well, here's a couple things to try. First off, the one thing you almost always want to do is either reset or trash your preferences. A lot of times when the machine goes weird, it's because it's holding on to a bad preference. Maybe something got corrupt. Let's see a nice, easy way to fix that. There's a company called Digital Rebellion. It's just digitalrebellion.com. And on their website, they've got a bunch of tools. Now, I don't actually know these guys, but I love that they're so generous and just give this stuff away. The first little category of tools here is all sorts of things for doing like footage calculation, pixel aspect ratio, depth of field, power load, and these are great tools. So those of you who have iPhones, you can actually bookmark these pages and run them as little web apps right on your iPhone. That's really pretty cool. Another thing they have is this category here, and the first one that we're going to take a look at is the Preference Manager. So you can download that, and when you launch it, it looks like this. What you're given an option to do is trash the preferences for any of the applications within Final Cut Studio. So if something is acting flaky, you could choose these preferences and then just blow them away. And that's really good. It's going to go ahead and sort of reset that particular application back to the default values like you had just installed it. So you just select the ones you want and click Trash, and it says, you know what, you can't have Final Cut running. So make sure you quit the application before you trash preferences. We'll click OK here, and let's just do Motion, and we'll hit Trash. And it says, great, successfully trashed, empty your trash, and all you have to do is switch on over to the Finder and hit Finder, Empty Trash. Besides that, though, is an important one here called Backup. And what I want you to do is back up your preferences. Chances are, not right now, but do this after you do that clean install. So if you've had to reinstall your software or when you upgrade Final Cut Studio, after you get all your settings right and you've got your scratch disks how you want, your windows set up, simply back up your preferences then so you can reload them and use them if things ever start to go flaky. And that's how these two tabs work together. You could back up all the settings you want including button bars and keyboard layouts. And that's great because you could then back those up and move them to another machine, in fact. Then you use the Restore button here, and that allows you to load those onto that system. So I think that's great because now you can get all your window layouts, your custom settings, your plugins, everything backed up. And that's fantastic. So this actually goes deeper than just the Final Cut settings and gets into the user settings as well as the custom plugins that you load and this just lets you save those so you can restore your system if you ever have problems. Now, speaking of restoring a system, they also have a Final Cut Studio remover. And this is really important. We're not saying remove Final Cut, but at some point when Final Cut gives you the opportunity, you're going to do a major upgrade to the next version. And at that point, the best thing to do is a clean OS install followed by a clean Final Cut system install. But if that's not an option, then at least use this particular service here so you can go ahead and completely remove all the old versions of Final Cut and all the preferences, and then do a clean install of the new version. So this is great. Whether you're doing an upgrade or you just want to do a clean install of the Final Cut system, this will wipe out everything that's old and give you a nice, clean system to run with. Hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Final Cut Help, brought to you by Creative Cow. You can go ahead and head on over to digitalrebellion.com to check out these free tools. And then when you're done, be sure to check out creativecow.net for our extensive online forums with Final Cut Pro and other video professional software. Thanks again.